Hello everyone, my name is Anna Marie Weir, CEO, Chief Experience Officer at Roads to Sea Guided Tours. Hi, I'm Anik Robichaud Butlin, Manager of Admissions and Group Tours at Hopal Rocks, located along the Bay of Funday with the world's highest tides. So today, Anna Marie and I got together uh, to provide you with some great resources and to give you an, an overview of what we have to offer with each of our products. Exactly. And please know that while visiting Hope All Rocks on tour with Roads to Sea Guided Tours, that we are both members of the Signature Experience Collection as designated by Destination Canada, which means that we both individually and together offer a unique, one-of-a-kind travel experience for visitors visiting Canada. That's right. Et pour nos clients français, juste pour vous laisser savoir que nous vous fournissons avec des sous-titres pour la vidéo, puis aussi nous offrons tous les deux des services bilingues. Alors nous sommes ici pour vous aider, n'hésitez pas à nous rejoindre. Exactly. Exactement. <laughs> uh, so, how did we get here? Uh, well, you're traveling to come and visit us here at Rosa Sea Guided Tours in Hope All Rocks. We're located near the city of Moncton and within the city of Moncton. Uh, so the local Greater Moncton Romeo Leblanc International Airport offers uh, direct and connecting flights from all over the world. If you're looking at uh, overseas flights uh, directly, uh, likely you would want to fly into Halifax or Montreal and then travel your way here from there. Uh, Via Rail Train Services offers some connections directly in Moncton as well. And picking you up at your hotel door will be Rose to see guided tours. That's right, door-to-door -door shuttle service in the Greater Moncton area. But we'll get back to that in a little bit more detail later. All I know is that I'm hearing my belly growling right about now, Nick, and I'm wondering, I did uh, prepare lunch, uh, thinking that you might be okay with working through lunch. Are you good with the working lunch today? Of course, yeah. Is there any other way? Well, there we go. <laughs> Maritime is here. I'll help get us prepared for lunch. So sure. maybe you can talk to folks while we're getting prepared for lunch about, you know, why? Why it is? There's so many reasons I know, but let's start talking about the why. People. Well, I'm sure you've heard about the maritime friendliness, so, and also there's unique culture. But I, I wouldn't be justifying our region if I didn't speak of the abundance of fresh seafood. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. yes. Now, of course, along with the, the fresh seafood, you know, we, we've got 60 covered bridges here in New Brunswick, and a lot of people don't know about these covered bridges. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also call them kissing bridges, but you're going to have to come on tour. We're not getting into to find those out stories today. Why that is, exactly. So we've got covered bridges, we've got lighthouses, and Nick. Mm -hmm. um, we've got various things to see along the Bay of Funday coastline. How about you share a couple of those things with people? Sure, I think you should. Thank you. You crap me up. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things to do, and Anna Marie takes care of a lot of those during her tour, so I'm certainly going to let her uh, explain some of the key highlights where you go with her. Well, awesome. Well, you know, further down the bay, we've got one of the oldest operational lighthouses at Cape and Rage, where you can do a whole bunch of different activities. And further down the bay, we go to the fishing village of Alma, mm -hmm. where you can get seafood literally off the boat and on your plate fresh. And, and more fishing stories and talk to the locals over there for sure. Lots and lots of fishing stories that we will share with you on tour. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, we've got Funding National Park of Canada. Um, as well and you know we've got oh there's artisans and crafts people along the way uh, fruit wineries and craft beer places and really it's like one-stop shopping for all your your Bay of Funday needs really. Mm -hmm. Another amazing feature that you can catch at certain times of the year are the semi-palmated sandpipers. Uh, those are migratory shorebirds that are visible along the Bay of Funday as well. Which is just one of the amazing many things that you're going to see along the amazing coastal landscapes along the Bay of Funday. And of course, the other thing that we forgot to mention, uh, Anik, is that every area that we go to and travel to on tour, all along the Bay of Funday side and the New Brunswick side here in Canada, um, that we travel to is part of the UNESCO Funday Biosphere. And it certainly warms my heart, Anik, to know that, that uh, we've taken measures here um, to ensure that our, our beautiful flora, fauna, waterways and, and beautiful landscape is protected for years to come and, and ensuring that we're doing our part for sustainable tourism so our visitors can enjoy this amazing area of the world for years to come. Absolutely. We have a huge responsibility to preserve it for generations to come. Absolutely. Right Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, on that note, maybe we should talk a little bit more about our own uh, respective um, experiences that we have to offer. So Nick, take it away. Well, thank you. When you're arriving at Hopal Rocks, uh, the, the unique attraction here and what draws everybody here, of course, is uh, the difference in the high and low tide. The vast 
range can be from 46 feet, which is 14 meters. Uh, so at low tide, you want to explore the ocean floor, the huge rock formations that were created. Uh, we have over two kilometers of coastline. And then a few hours later or after lunch, whichever it may be, uh, it's the world's highest tides as it comes rolling in. And uh, so you definitely want to catch that as well. Our season is mid-May to mid-October. And uh, your passes are also valid for two consecutive days to give you the chance to see both tides. And we're pet friendly, so you can bring your, your fur babies along with you. Uh, we have daily walking tours offered as well as a wonderful gift shop, a fully licensed restaurant overlooking the Bay of Fun Day, as well as a canteen with a popular barbecue and picnic menu. Um, the most asked question is the tides. When can you walk on the ocean floor? When's the highest tide of that day? So on our website, which you'll see below here at www.thehopewellrocks.ca, we have the daily tides available for you for the whole season to help you plan ahead and plan your vacation. Uh, with that said, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us uh, if you're uh, wanting help with uh, reading the tide tables or you're wondering um, anything specific to your particular needs. Just give us a call or send us an email and we'll be here to help you. Our contact us information is located on our website as well. As at the end of this video, you'll have my information. Anna Marie with Rosa Tea Guided Tours has a lot uh, to explain as well with her particular products. Well yes and here I'm just gonna share a little bit of my lobster endeavors here with you while I'm talking on my part. Here you go. Thank you. Now, <laughs> with Roads to Sea Guided Tours not only do we provide door-to-door -door shuttle service in the Greater Moncton area but uh, again as mentioned we can provide uh, fully independent travelers with uh, a one-of-a-kind unique experience where you experience extreme high and low tide in the same day in the Bay of Fun Day and at Hopewell Rocks and other areas along the bay. Um, and we also can put together uh, tours of any any size to accommodate your groups. We also provide step-on guide services, travel itineraries. We are basically one-stop shopping for anybody coming into the area. Uh, as long as you've got a minimum of two people, we will put on an experience that will uh, be sure to be memorable for the rest of your life. Um, not to mention all the fine things that we will eat, <laughs> see and do, all these things that will tantalize our senses throughout the day. And if you're not a seafood lover, Lucky for you, we have many, 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 many other things um, that will tantalize your taste buds as well. Absolutely. So please feel free to visit us at www.roads to sea, and that's sea.com, roads to sea.com, or give us a call at 1 877 850 7623, and we'll be more than happy to plan your uh, travel itinerary uh, to our amazing part of the world. Absolutely. Reach out to us, whether it's for your individual traveling, FIT, or groups. We're both here to help you and we look forward to seeing you soon. A la prochaine. A la prochaine.